And we're working several breaking news stories at noon. First, dozens arrested at a Providence social club, including men police say have ties to organized crime. Now, early this morning, police raided the Decatur social club, and just minutes ago, the first of the suspects was hauled into court, and only eyewitness news was there. It's a story Target 12 investigator Tim White broke first on WPRI.com, and he is live in Providence now with the breaking details on today's Big Bust. Tim. An early morning raid by a state drug task force rounded up more than two dozen suspects. State police tell us that most of them are, in fact, facing drug-related charges. Now, two of the defendants in this case have long been on the radar screen of the state police organized crime unit. Only Target 12 cameras were there as one by one. Suspects rounded up in an early morning raid by state and federal investigators were brought into Providence District Court. And all members of the High Intensity Drug Task Force snared approximately 30 people statewide in the roundup. Related to the case, investigators removed evidence from the Decatur Social Club on Carpenter Street on Federal Hill in Providence. Arrested this morning, brothers Richard and Joseph Tiberi, owners of the social club. The Decatur has been the scene of several raids by investigators over the past two decades. Both Tiberi brothers have a history of cases accusing them of running an illegal sports betting operation from the longtime social club. A man who did not want to be identified says he's the boyfriend of one of the defendants and was there when state police busted in the door this morning. State police banged on the door um, asking for a certain individual. And like six of them came in, swam in the house like it was a big drug sweep. She don't even do drugs. I asked that man if his girlfriend had ever stepped foot into the Decatur Social Club. He said, quote, not to my knowledge. Now, we're expecting a state police news conference later this afternoon. We'll be on this developing story all day and bring you the latest on Eyewitness News starting at 5. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.